Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the the 15th Sunday after Pentecost, August 28th, and we're looking at the Gospel Lesson, the Revised Common Lectionary. And um, the item I'm using is a slinky. Uh, this is actually a magic spring from the Dollar Tree, but uh, it's a, a version of the slinky. And the text is, the first will be last, last will be first, the idea of there's the banquet table and people come in and Jesus sees that people are taking the seats of power where he said, be um, beware about that. Um, if you take the seat lower than you and someone sits up there and then you can be invited. It's this idea of putting someone in front of you, that um, uh, giving someone else um, not the power, that's not, I don't know, maybe, a, maybe I could use that word because that's a seat of power, but so you're, but you, you were serving them, you were giving up um, what might be rightfully yours, might not, but you giving that up. And so this, uh, the spring, the idea that I'm getting, going from is that um, the thing is, is that when we, when we serve and then people serve us, there's this kind of a give and take and not, not for the fact that we want to take, but something's been given to us. Maybe the idea of God's grace being poured upon us. So we're, we're given God's grace and then we, uh, then we give that back by serving. Uh, and so this idea of the, the slinky or the spring is that we've got here, we get God's grace and then we're propelled to give it back. And then we give God's grace, and we're propelled to give it back. We give God's grace, and we're propelled to give it back. Um, it, the, the idea ultimately comes from a Les and Leslie Parrott, who are marriage counselors, that talk about, um, they have a wonderful way of dealing with the text about obeying, um, obeying uh, the church, or obeying uh, your husband versus serving your wife. And, and when they, you know, I mean, it's one of those things you just, I mentioned it, and the anxiety kind of rises up going, well, where is he going with this? Um, not going to use this in the children's sermon, of course, but this idea that less and less parents say that when you come to a relationship and the idea is to try to outserve the other person, um, you're not worried about what you're getting, um, and you're worried about more how can I serve the other person. But when both come to that um come to that relationship and are looking at out serving one another they don't have an they don't there's not really an issue about um what am i getting because both of you are in this um in this dance if you will serving one another and this and that's where this idea that the slinky uh, for me comes from it, in the world and the church where we serve um, and it's it's all connected, you know. It's not like it's separate two things, but we serve, and God's grace pours upon us, or God's grace pours upon us, not or. God's grace pours upon us, and then we serve, and it goes back and forth, and it's a it's a dance, and I love it. I love the idea. So, hope that this can be a spring a springboard. <laughs> Okay, uh, for your own uh, children's sermon, and as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fantastic week.